Right, today I got um, my last package um, which contains pretty much all of the electronics um, that I'm going to use for my quadrocopter. And when I say pretty much, that's because I, I've already got the, the power distribution board for the ESC and the KK controller board. So, all the rest, like the radio, the ESCs, the motors should be in here. Okay, so this is just, this is pretty much just a, a unboxing video um, to show you how or what I got. Um, and I will be doing this series of, of video logs to, um, to try to help you out and show you my build and how I'm going to build my quadrocopter. So I, I hope <laughs> this will be helpful and um, yeah, let's see what's inside the box. And so I laid it, all the parts and pieces out um, besides the frame that I haven't made yet um, and I'll just be going through them individually so you can get an idea of what it is and what they're used for. Okay, starting with the motors here. These are Hextronic DT750. I've uh, heard a lot good things about them and they've got a lot of frost um, I think with these propellers here it, I think it's been around 980 grams so uh, they are quite heavy but with 4 times 980 grams I think they'll be alright and these are basically sitting in each end of the frame lifting the quadcopter and the quad uh, the KK controller board um, will be controlling which motors are turning up and which one are turning down to to turn the quad flight forward or backward or up or down. So that's basically the motors, and I got four of them, and I'm going to glue or to uh, to solder some connectors on here so I can get them to the ESCs. And the ESCs, those will be going onto a power distribution board so I, they are all getting the same current from the battery and the ECs are basically controlling how much current or how big a current is going through to the motors so they are controlling how, how fast the motors spin and the ECs will be connected via the servo plug there, here to the KK controller board on these tabs here um, and that's basically the ESCs so and now then I've got the battery um, it's a free cell CP Lively battery uh, 280 milliamps and um, it got her XT60 connector solar on right now but I think I'm going to change it to a Dean's connector. I know the Dean's got um, some bad connections, but I do not have another another XT60 uh, female connector um, because I'm going to to solder a connector onto the power distribution board to connect the battery, and I do not have another one of those. So I think I'm just gonna make a Dean's connector solder on. Um, Yes, that's the, that's the battery. And I th think the flight time of this battery would be around 12 to 15 minutes, depending on how, how aggressively I'm going to use it. I talk a lot about the power distribution board now. So this is basically the power distribution board. And um, there's not much to see. It's very thin, thin actually. And um, the way this works is that if I got the battery here, the battery will be soldered to those holes we got here. So that that will be the battery. And if we imagine that these wires will be holding an EC in this end, we will see that the positive circle um, around the the outer circle is positive. So that means it's a possible positive stream or current running through over there and in the middle here it's a negative current 
So, the red one, oh sorry, the, the black one is uh, negative and the red one is positive. So, the red one will be going out here, oh sorry, the red one will be going out here and the black one in here. And so I will have one here, one there, one here and one there. In that way, there's four ECs which are getting the same amount of current from this battery. So, that's the power distribution board. And then I've got the KK controller board here. And the KK controller board is a version 5.5. I got it off eBay for a very small amount of money. I, thought, I think it was around 25 bucks with the, uh, the power distribution board, the programmer, some Dean's connectors, wires and servo plugs. So very, very cheap. And the KK controller board got three gyros on it. It's got this gyro, this gyro and this gyro. Right, I just turned on some light. It was getting quite dark outside so I was worried I couldn't see. Um, right, so that was the KK controller board, the power distribution board. And then I got this. This is the USB ASP. And this is basically a programmer for the KK controller board. This is not only designed to work with a quadcopter, it can work with up from two to six rotors. That means you can uh, use a, this on a bicopter, a tricopter, a quadcopter, a hexacopter, Y6, and you name it. So you just plug this into your computer, install the right drivers and get uh, the program and you can just flash the KK board with a new software and a new um, OS if you can see it. say it like that. So you can just you can use this controller board for basically all the multi rotors up to six rotors.